What's up, everybody? I am tired. Long day today. For real, for real. I mean, super long day today, man. I, I, I just want to say that there's this topic. We about to jump right into it, man. What's going on, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another topic. Yes, sir. Lockout Man presents the subscriber questions. That's what's up. I go to Facebook. I go to YouTube. I go to everywhere to figure out who has questions, comments, or anything like that. Um, some people send me questions in my e email, in my GM, in my DM. What I say? GM, Gmail? Y'all know what it is. But I am super tired today, and I'm about to tell you guys why. Okay? Here's why. Here's why. Well, first we, all right. So first I found this, this, this comment, right? And the comment was, why do shippers and receivers hold you up at these places, man? Why, why, why does it take them so long to load you? I don't understand, you know, either load or unload. Why does it take them so long to do that you know what it it just happened to me today today yeah hurry up and wait a trucker's worst nightmare man i i told you guys plenty of times that i was always hemmed up at places the longest place i've been hemmed up at 24 hours i don't get it either i just don't understand it it's to the point that these shippers and receivers just don't care there is no way to argue right okay so today lockout man me i get a load i, I get a load all right i already knew that this load was going to be freaking horrible because I've been here before many times already. And me and my past dispatcher already know that I don't like coming to this particular place. Don't send me here no more, bro. And it's been cool ever since. But unfortunately, my dispatcher moved on to brighter pastures and I got a new dispatcher. Now, he did not know, you know, so in his defense he did not know nothing about said company where i'm at so i get it on my phone i'm like oh, okay all right i says uh bro i says uh you know for future reference don't send me to this place and the recruit i mean my my dispatcher is real cool he ain't argue with me he ain't, he didn't even ask me why he was just saying oh okay no problem i didn't know and then next time i got you i, I got you on the next go around all right cool pickup is at 11 o'clock all right i get there at about 10 30. 10 30 10 30. i get there roll up come up in there and i, I and i told you guys before about how to come up in a place, okay? Don't come up in a place at 11 o'clock on the dot and then go inside and then it'll be like 11.05, 11.10 where they clock you in. Cause if they clock you in at 11.05, 11.10, 11.20, you're late. And there's no way to argue being late, all right? So let me rewind back in the time I get to this place back in the day. And it was, it, it was, it was a load that picked up at 11 o'clock. Let's just say 11 o'clock. Cause I can't remember offhand. I get there. Lady told me, yo, this load was supposed to pick up at nine o'clock. Okay. Well, uh, my, 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 my information is 11. No, no. 
it's nine. And again, there is no way to argue a late load. You can stand there until you blow in the face. Yo, it's not right. Can I get in? You, you can't force them to put you in the dock. They gonna go on their time. So long story short, eight hours later, I get loaded. Boom, don't go there no more. Fast forward to the day. Get the load. Yo, bro, man. Yo, can, can we cancel this? Unfortunately, he couldn't cancel it because he already booked it. So, all right, we get there. 10.30. All right, load pits up at 11. I get there at 10.30. Walk in, check in, 10.30. All right, get a door, boom. That's right. That's right, y'all. That's right. That's right. It's just time just keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. So I go up in there like, yo, um, was am I'm going to get loaded or what? I mean, you know, it, it, am I'm am I am I'm, I'm going to get some type of solace today? Like, yo. I, it look I I, I kind of feel it, but no, no, you got seven trucks ahead of you, seven, and and oh no, I think she said five, five. Let me see, two, four, six, eight, ten. Yeah, five, and they're running two to three hours behind on their appointments. Now they're late. Jesus Christ. They're late. They are late. We get here on time, but they are late. Oh my God. I tell you, man, one thing that hasn't changed when the ELD mandate went into effect, man, is the way drivers get treated at these shippers and receivers. The old age, hurry up and wait. Hurry up to get there only to wait. Yo, you got to get there on time. Got to get there on time, on time, on time, on time. But then when I get there, I got to wait, 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 wait. Dude, what's the point? What's up? There's nothing more pinnacle for a driver who's doing the right thing by being on time like I am today for a load to get loaded only to be told, yo, you're, we're, we're five trucks ahead and we're about two, we're about two to three hours behind on our appointments. And we'll get to you as soon as we can. Damn shame. Damn, damn shame. Maybe, maybe it could be, maybe, maybe it could be because they're shorthanded. Maybe. I don't know what's going on in these warehouses, man. Maybe the load is just not stacked and ready yet. Again, I don't know what's going on in these warehouses, man. If shippers and receivers understood the risk that we personally sacrifice, the truckers take up and, and us hold our end of the bargain, I think things will be very, very different. But in reality, Many shippers and receivers just don't care. And they are too damn happy to treat us like second class citizens. Think about it. I went in there today, all right? I'm like, yo. Oh, there ain't nothing I could do. I can only give out the paperwork. You got like you got like two or three trucks ahead of you right now. And my time is still taken away. I'm like, bro, can I, you know what, bro? Can I uh can I just drop my trailer and y'all just call me 
when I'm done, I could have went back home. Literally, I, I could have went back home like, yo, bro, let me drop the trailer. I could have went back home, ate, went, you know, I, I probably could have went to my dentist appointment today. And then come back later on and get my trailer. See, here's the problem that I have. They want us to wait all fucking day and then drive the rest of your hours out. Like, bro, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm about to, as soon as I get finished with this, I'm about to get some sleep, about five hours of sleep. Then I'm about to go and get my trailer, and then I'll get it gone. And I know what you guys are about to say. Like, yo, don't you get paid detention? Don't you get paid detention? Yeah, that detention ain't shit. You got to fight for detention sometimes. If you got there a minute or two late, you're not going to get your detention. But luckily for me, I got there at 1030. Pickup time was 11. So whatever the case they said, it's not the case. What I'm going to get. Pickup time's 11. I got there at 1030, clocked in at about maybe 1031, 1032, but it was damn sure before 11. I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's not, this is, this is trucking, right? This is trucking. And again, this ain't the first time. This is, this isn't the first time and this damn show not going to be the last. But to answer the question, why they take so long again, see what I started doing was looking at the load. See, when I get there, when I go back and get my trailer, I'm going to look at the load. And it's going to be like 8,000, 7,000, 10,000 pounds. Why does it take you all damn day to load 10,000 pounds? Why? I don't get it. You shippers and receivers, man, y'all know we're on the clock. You know, this ain't no dropping hook. We get paid by the mile, man. We don't get paid by sitting down. See, my day is already messed up today. I'm not going to start to get any good miles until the, towards the end of the freaking week. Already wasted 11 hours of my, of, of, of my 70 already. And then no whatever whatever the uh, miles I'm going to get tomorrow, ain't no telling. But am I going to get paid today? Yes, I am going to get paid for it today. Is it going to be enough to cover for what I would have made today? No, it isn't. It just isn't. But yeah, that was that's my day today. So, of course, I'm about to go ahead and get some sleep. Go ahead and uh, get this video in for you guys. And uh, get at you guys tomorrow with another video. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, it is time to go. It's time to get some sleep. And, uh, and yeah, that's it. That's it. But just know that there is no way to argue a late load. Now, before I leave, I did see, <laughs> I seen something funny. The guy, the guy that was in there, um, when I came in there, the lady told him that your load was at nine o'clock this morning. Now, mind you, I, now mind you, I'm in there at 10 30. And she's telling the guy that the load was at nine o'clock this morning. And she was like, yo, you're an hour and a half late. And we're going to have to put you in as a work in. And dude, like, no, no. Same thing, you know, like I said, you can't argue a late load. But he was like, no. She was like, well, what you going to have to do, sir, sir? What you going to have to do, sir? You're going to have to call your, your dispatcher, sir. You're going to have to call your company and the dispatcher. Man, this dude said the loveliest thing that I ever heard. He looked at her and he says, yo, 
I am the company and I am the dispatcher. She was flabbergasted. Didn't even, she didn't even have a comeback. He said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to cancel. How's that? Oh, my God. That was so savage. So savage. You can't. Ooh. Look, man. It's a beast being a company. I mean, being a solo owner operator, ain't it? You can look them, you can look them in their eyes and be like, yo, I'm done. I had to, nah, nah, we good. We good. Broker, we're done. Call up another load. Shh, shh, shh. A load, yeah, load ready. Yeah, let's go get it. Not going to be no work in. That's the communication problem right there. That's the communication problem. Problem in communications. If you tell me that the load is at one time, and then when I get there and they tell me that the load is at a different time, that's a problem in communication. Unfortunately, me being a company driver, well, I mean, nothing too much I can do because I can't argue a late load or argue the fact that you couldn't get me off this load today. But, you know, in the future, not to put me on this uh put me with this company no more so that's a good thing about uh about my fleet manager we got that repertoire 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 but in any case that's about it i'm about to get on up out of here i gotta go to bed gotta get some sleep gotta get up and gotta get gone so with that said man i appreciate you guys chilling with me i really do if you guys like content like this and more don't forget to like subscribe comment share hit that bell and it all button if you ever want to come on and chop it up with the lockout man you can do that hit me up in the gmail at lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com or hit me up over at instagram and get at me in the dm i would love to hear your stories i would love to have a conversation with you just come over here and sit down and chop it up 